Hello again from my front porch. Well, today I want to talk to you about something I'm really excited about. Uh, it has nothing to do with the election coming up. Uh, in fact, it takes place after the election coming up, which is part of the excitement because a lot of us are looking forward to the world after the election. <laughs> Then my mailbox isn't going to be full of all the junk mail. My TV won't be full of all the junk commercials. You know, we can <laughs> keep moving forward. But I digress. What I want to talk to you about is Veterans Day. Veterans Day is coming up. Uh, the November 11th is Veterans Day. And traditionally, the Filipino American Society of Iowa, which I proudly get to serve in a, as the vice president currently uh, of that organization, uh, we, we usually every year do a, a, a big event, an actual event where we honor our veterans, not just Filipino veterans, but any veteran. In fact, we've expanded that to include really anybody who has or currently is wearing the uniform. Uh, and so, you know, that, that, that honoring our, our military service members. So we've done that in the past as, as an event, and we invite people to come, uh, the veterans to be nominated, they show up, we, we, we read off who they are, they come up for recognition, they get a certificate and a gift of some kind, there's uh, food, you know, big buffet thing, there's music, there's some activity things, you know, it, it's, it's, it's big doings. Uh, but, of course, because of COVID-19, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know, has gotten either scrapped or scaled down or altered significantly so it doesn't even look like what it used to because we have to keep each other safe. And when you talk about veterans, well, now you have the dynamic of a lot of them are definitely in the high-risk category because they're older individuals. And so uh, we did not want to be doing something that might jeopardize and put anybody at risk or cause problems, so we are not holding the event as an in-person event this year. Instead, we've decided to do it virtual, but but it's not like just virtual where, where you know, I sit in front of a camera and say, all right, we're gonna recognize so-and-so now, and then bring them up on the camera. There they are, Dane, brings them out, you know. I mean, that, that, that wouldn't be bad, but we're taking a little bit farther than that. What we're actually doing is producing uh, some videos uh, in advance, that will uh, allow us to spotlight everyone, every individual veteran who is nominated. We're asking them to submit their nomination on the, the FAS website. It's fasiowa.com slash veteran dash nomination, I believe. <laughs> but if you just go to fasiowa.com, you'll see right there on the main page is the thing about honoring our veterans. And uh, there's the click here button. You click that and it'll take you to the page where you enter the information about your, about your veteran. And you can upload their picture there. And that's what we really want. We really want you to upload their picture to, to share a photo of them with us. Uh, that, uh, especially one of them in uniform would be fantastic. But just a few questions to answer. Uh, uh, and, and then you, you can drag and drop the picture right over the spot that says drag and drop it here. And then it puts it there. And if that's difficult, if you have trouble with that, you can email us the information as well. Just send us an email at uh, fas.iowa at gmail.com. Uh, just make sure you include all the same information that we ask for on the website. So you're still going to have to go look at it. Uh, but then in the email, you could attach your uh, veterans photo and, and submit it to us that way. But time is critical. Time is running out. We need you to do this and get this this submitted here like, like real fast. This is something you need to try to do before election day uh, because we've got to have time to put it all together so that we can, we can um, get them out there. So I need you to get on that right now. If you or somebody you know is a veteran, and we often get asked when we do the in-person event, well, what if the veteran I want to recognize has deceased? You know what? For the sake of the virtual, it's a little embarrassing, obviously, if we're not embarrassing, but it's a little awkward if you're recognizing someone who is not with us uh, at the event and uh, there, there really isn't anybody there to accept on their behalf either. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's a little uncomfortable in, in, a, in an in a situation like that, but for this virtual environment, that does that's not a factor at all. So, uh, so if you've had, uh, if you have a veteran who, who's meaningful in your life, who maybe has passed away within the last few years here, uh, go ahead, submit them. That's that's totally fine. We will include them with the recognition. 
If we have enough submissions, and we're hoping that we do, we usually we have quite a few. If we have enough submissions, what we're gonna be doing is creating a separate video for each branch of the military. So all the Navy veterans, all the Army veterans, all the Marine veterans, you know, Air Force, et cetera, you know, they, they all be grouped by by their 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 armed service branch. Uh, and, and there'll be separate little videos of that nature. But, but, to make this even more special, it's not just to put up their picture and read their name, we also have bundled in several, several special little addish, additions. Now, one of them is, is me, that's not very special, but I do wanna give a shout out to the Iowa Cubs. There, there haven't been any games this year, uh, and so, you know, there, I didn't get to sing the National Anthem with them this year for the first time in 16 years or whatever. Um, excuse me, and, and so I was, I was a little disappointed about that, but now I have gotten a chance to sing it there because, because the Iowa Cubs have partnered with us on this particular project, and they allowed me to go out and, and sing the national anthem down on their field uh, with, the, the, with the big signs on and the, the patriotic flags going, just like it does when you sing the national anthem there. But most importantly, you get this great view of the American flag at full attention because there's a little breeze that day. And the Iowa Capitol, the gold, beautiful gold dome capital in the background. It's a fantastic scene that you see there. And so the Iowa Cubs opened up their doors to allow us to come in and film a, uh, a national anthem just for this. Uh, the Iowa National Guard, uh, they worked with us to let us film their color guard to, to, uh, to include with this. And some of the comments are made. And we are anticipating having a couple of other entries as well. Representative Tulsi Gabbard uh, from Hawaii will be part of this. Uh, and and uh, the reason we asked Tulsi to be part of this, it's not everybody is aware of this, but a few years ago here, uh, she helped sponsor the legislation that finally recognized over 200,000 Filipino World War II veterans uh, who, who had served with the American Armed Forces but had not received their proper recognition from those years of service. And so she, had, she helped make that possible. And so that's, that's, that's a big deal for Filipino community. And uh, we also are gonna be including our governor of Iowa. Uh, who will have some comments as well that will all be done by by video it's all going to be included into this program so we're very excited it's a very special thing it's it's different obviously than what we normally do and sadly we don't get to benefit from a buffet of really tasty wonderful food <laughs> presented at that time but it's going to be great however however we're doing it to recognize veterans, and that means we need veterans to be submitted. So make sure you go out either to FASIowa.com and go to the, the, the veteran nomination page and submit your information, or you can email us at FAS.Iowa at gmail.com and give us the veteran information and attach the photo there. And if you have any issues with uh, being able to scan your photo or, or attach it or do that, there's contact information on the website you can send that, or you can also send that email to fas.iowa at gmail.com, and we will be happy to reply to you and assist you as best we can. So there you go. That's me using my front porch to promote the Filipino American Society of Iowa, and I am not ashamed a little bit. <laughs> this is a worthwhile cause, a great organization, that I'm very proud to be part of. And this is going to be a, a very special uh, online production, unlike anything we've ever done before. And we want to make it extra special. And so you want your veteran that you know to be part of this as well. Uh, so please reach out and get them submitted. Get it done today so you don't have to forget about it. In fact, Submit whoever you can think of today because maybe tomorrow you'll think of some more and you want to submit them too. <laughs> so go ahead and get those sent in so that we can get them the recognition that they deserve. That's all I got for you now. With that, I'll see you all next time from my front porch.